welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Tess and it's a pleasure to have you here on my tiny microscopic corner of the internet. Today's video is going to be a good one. I'm going to be telling you all about the Inky List products that I have tried and tested. I've not tried every single Inky List product out there, but I have tried a fair few. So yeah, here we go. So I have a wonderful little tray here of products which we will be talking about. So throughout this review I'm going to be on the Inky Lists website so I can tell you the price and the product claims and let's see if we agree with them. So first up is the Heptapeptide Serum. Now this markets for £14.99 in pounds. This is supposed to help the promotion of skin renewal, target the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and creates an instant blurring effect on the skin. This combines it with a seven sequence peptide to help give your skin a smoother appearance, as well as proving a mattifying makeup base, okay? You can use it both day and night, so it's not like retinol where you should only really use it in the nighttime. Um, apparently it's suitable for everyone. Now, the reason why I am not a fan of this, this is not a serum, that's important to know. It's actually more of a cream. It looks like a moisturizer, but looks can be deceiving. This is way too mattifying for me. So when I put this on my skin, like I said, it looks like a cream, but it's very dry. So if I've put any kind of moisturizing serums on beforehand, the effects of those are just completely cancelled out by this which is number one reason why I don't like it. Number two, in order to put enough product over your entire face, because it is quite a dry formula, and then once you spread it out, it dries very, very quickly. So in order to put enough product on your entire face, you have to use quite a lot. I just don't think it's the best product for improving the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, but yeah. This is the number one product that I wasn't a fan of. So next, I'm gonna need to look up how to pronounce this. <laughs> so this is the Bacotil Moisturizer. Again, I didn't love this and I'll explain why. This is nine pounds and 99 pence, so 10 pounds. It's plant derived with antioxidant properties. This natural retinol alternative helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and even skin tone. It also works to hydrate and nourish your skin. It does not cause any sun sensitivity, so it can be used in both AM and PM and is safe to use during pregnancy. Good to know. As a moisturizer, you'd expect it to come in a little bit of a bigger bottle. As you can see, it is very small. And I would not say that this is a moisturizer or an alternative for a moisturizer in any form. It's a very, very thin moisturizer. When you spread it, once again, it dries down very, very quickly. It's not hydrating. I would say it's more of a treatment than a moisturizer if you don't want to use retinol. However, I think there are better alternatives out there. There are um, two products that I don't have the packaging for because I used it um, a little while ago and threw it in the bin. But let's talk about them anyway. The next product we're going to be talking about is the Niacinamide Serum. Now this um, is priced on the website for £6.99. It's pricier than the Ordinary's um, version of Niacinamide, but it's worth it and I will tell you why. A lightweight power pack serum containing 10% niacinamide that can be easily layered into your skincare routine. This naturally occurring B3 vitamin helps to effectively reduce excess oil, blemishes and redness. You can use this both in the morning and the evening and it's suitable for all skin types. I have tried the Audrey Ordinary's Niacinamide Serum and I do actually have it in my bathroom at this moment. However, I do have a big problem. No matter how I choose to layer this product, I will always get pilling and that's when the product basically um, balls up and you get kind of like clumps of gross product on your face rather than it being distributed as a serum evenly over the top of your skin. With the Inky Lists Niacinamide, I did not have that 
once. It layered really effectively, no matter how much or in what way I layered this niacinamide serum, it did not do the same as the Ordinary's version. So that is why I think it's worth that little bit extra of a couple of pounds extra, I believe. Um, yeah, it's just a really simple serum, but it works very, very well. The next product that we're gonna be talking about that again, I don't have here with me is, yep, you guessed it, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid is five pounds and 99 pence. This easily absorbed super serum works across multiple layers of the skin, hydrating your skin, helping it appear plump and smooth while reducing the appearance of fine lines. Hyaluronic acid serum is a powerful moisture binding ingredient that works beneath the skin surface and can hold up to 1000 times its weight in water. So this can be used both during the day and nighttime and it's suitable for all skin types. I've used my fair share of hyaluronic acid serums and the Inculus is by far one of, if not the best hyaluronic acid serum that I have tried. Again, it's a very simple serum. If you are looking to up your skincare routine and you only kind of have the, let's say, basics down, I would absolutely recommend introducing a hyaluronic acid serum into your routine, even if you have oily skin, because it's still going to benefit you. In fact, the two I would recommend is obviously niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Um, I just think hyaluronic acid is such a super ingredient and it has really helped to transform my skin and I think the Inculus version is super affordable, very, very well formulated and it does the job. The next product I'm going to be talking about is a new one to my collection. I've had this for the past two weeks so I can't comment too much on the long-term effects but I do have a good few words to say about it and that is the Collagen Booster Serum. So this is £8.99 and the claims of this are it's a serum that works to make the skin appear plumper and firmer to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's smoothing hydrating serum mimics the effect of what natural collagen would do to your skin helping it appear plumper and firmer. You can use this during the day and night because it's not retinol so that's very very useful and it's for all skin types. So this is more along the lines of the same consistency as the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid serum. It's very very easy to apply. I just pop it onto my fingers and then straight into my skin. It dries down um, nice and quickly but it doesn't dry down and leave you feeling matte with no hydration. It does have a nice instant effect not a blurring effect but like a plumping effect that you would associate with you know kind of a younger more youthful skin in terms of the long-term effects i obviously have not been using it long enough to comment on that but so far so good next we have the oat cleansing balm now i know this is a pretty popular product when it comes to inculists like staples for everybody and i couldn't agree more this goes for £9.99, which is a very decent price for a cleanser this size. It's a rich cleansing balm that melts away makeup and impurities without drying the skin. Formulated with oat kernel oil, a rich natural oat oil which hydrates and moisturises the skin and effectively removes SPF. Perfect as a first cleanser in your double cleanse routine. You can use this AM and PM, skin type for everybody. This is definitely a staple in my skincare routine. Um, it is great for removing SPF and makeup. I love removing makeup with this. It's also a really great hydrating mask as well. So um, on a clean skin, you can leave a layer of this on for about 10 minutes and then wash it off as normal afterwards. So it's kind of a two in one, which is great it's really effective at removing makeup so it goes on as more of a kind of 
balmy consistency. Um, the more you rub it into your skin, the more oily it becomes. And then once you add a little bit of water, it turns to kind of like a milky liquid and it kind of just melts off that makeup. Um, I definitely would use this as a first cleanse as it suggests on the website, but because my skin sometimes needs that little hit of extra hydration, sometimes I do use this as both my first cleanse and my double cleanse, but it would completely depend on your skin type. Overall, I think this is a really great product. It is super, super value for the price that you pay. If you're looking for a nice balm cleanser, I definitely recommend giving this a go. Okay, next we're gonna be talking about one of my all time favorite products that the Inky List does, and that is the salicylic acid cleanser. This is probably looking a little bit bigger than the, the standard size. That's because this is a super sized version. And I don't believe, heartbreakingly, that they do this size bottle anymore. So the super size cleanser is actually double what the normal one is. The standard size salicylic acid, so the 150 milliliters one, which is half the size of this, is £10.99. Hence, this non-drying, lightly foaming cleanser removes dirt, and makeup while penetrating deep into pores, helping to reduce blackheads and breakouts. As well as effectively cleansing the skin, this 2% salicylic acid cleanser has an added zinc compound. Together, they help with oil control, reducing blackheads and breakouts, and promoting a more even looking complexion. You can use this both during the day and at night, suitable for all skin types. So I do unfortunately find this a little bit drying for my skin type. However, if you have oilier skin, I don't think this will be relevant to you. It almost has that stripping feeling to the point where I wouldn't use it had the other benefits of this um, not been a thing. I love using the supersized version. I have it actually in my shower because I don't only use this on my face, but I use this on other um, blemish prone areas such as the top of my back. If I use this consistently, then this really, really helps to prevent me getting any kind of blemishes and further irritation on my back. Not only that, but I use this on my face as well, of course. Um, it's a clear consistency, almost like a gel. It foams up really, really nicely. You pop it onto your skin. I'd recommend leaving it on there for maybe like a minute or two, just so that the active salicylic acid can really do its job here and then I rinse it off. Me personally, since using salicylic acid, and this was the first product I used the salicylic acid in, I have seen a huge difference in my skin. Not only have my normal breakouts completely stopped, but my hormonal breakouts, theme of a nature, have also significantly reduced. So I highly recommend um, this cleanser. It's great value for money. I just wish they did super size version still. The next product that I want to speak about is the vitamin B, C and E <laughs> moisturizer. So price wise, this is £4.99. This lightweight daily moisturizer quickly absorbs to deliver every essential vitamin for healthy looking skin, including clarifying B3, niacinamide, to help balance oil, brightening antioxidant vitamin C, and soothing vitamin E. Perfect for normal skin types looking to keep skin healthy all year round. You can use this both day and night. Um, suitable for all skin types. This is the type of moisturizer that you expect to see. This one is way more rich than it describes. Um, so it's not oily and it's not heavy, but somehow it manages to really, really hydrate my skin. This is a big yes from me. I really enjoy the consistency. It's not light, but it's not heavy. It's a really, really nice in between. It absorbs relatively fast into the skin, so you don't have to wait a really long time before applying any makeup. I apply this onto my face and also onto my neck. Um, I use it both day and night and have no problems with finding my skin dry. It's a super, super great moisturizer and extremely good value for money. I just wish it came in a bigger bottle. There are 50 milliliters in here. Can we start a petition for a 100 milliliter one? Would you please, Inky List? The first eye cream that I want to talk about is the caffeine eye cream. As you can see, this is completely empty. I have used this to death. 
the price of this is £8.99. This hydrating and lightweight under eye cream can help to instantly reduce the appearance of puffiness, dark circles and fine lines under the eyes. Caffeine, a natural antioxidant derived from coffee, can help to relieve water retention, a major cause of puffiness under the eyes. You can use it both during the day and night, suitable for all skin types. I used to think that eye creams were a myth, that you didn't need them until I started using this and the other eye cream that we're going to talk about. It's lightweight, like the description says. It is just a wonderful product. I saw the effects of this almost instantly. I used it both day and night consistently and saw super, super results. So yeah, if you think that eye creams are a myth like I used to, I challenge you. And lastly, this is a severely underrated product and that is the Brighten Eye Eye Cream. Another eye cream, I know, shock horror. This again is a relatively new purchase. I've been testing this out for about two weeks now, but I have already seen the effects and I'm impressed. Price-wise, this goes for £8.99. The claims are that it's a brightening under eye cream that reduces the appearance of dark circles and helps illuminate and prime the under eye for an instant boost or an ideal makeup base. Four times more potent than vitamin C. You can apply this day, night for all skin types and as the name suggests, it is to target dark areas under the eye and even puffiness as well. Similar consistency to the caffeine eye cream, if not slightly a little bit Thicker. One of the things that I love is that it's a metal applicator. This gets nice and cold, which means that it's super refreshing on the skin when you apply it. But of course, the formula itself is, it's wonderful. It really, really, really does brighten up that under eye area as an instant effect and over time as well. My dark circles have seen a huge benefit from using both the caffeine eye cream and this one over the last two weeks. Another inky list product that just makes a home run. Um, yeah, highly recommend. Now we've talked about all of these, let's give my final thoughts on the inky list. So I think that it's a very, very affordable skincare brand. Great for anybody looking to build up their skincare collection to trying out different ingredients to see how they work on your skin without breaking the bank. Do I think there are maybe better skincare companies out there? Yes, but this is great for somebody who is looking to do skincare on a budget. Overall, my love for the Inky List is never ending um, and I will continue to explore more of their wonderful, wonderful products and hopefully keep giving you guys some more detailed reviews. Ooh, I'm gonna pick two products that I think are a must have out of ones that I've shown you. Oh my God, this is tough. Okay, okay, so it's got to be the, the salicylic acid cleanser, amazing, and also the Brighten Eye Eye Cream. I can't believe I didn't pick the hyaluronic acid, can you? Those are the two products that I would recommend you go ahead and purchase if you're feeling like it but at the end of the day buy what works for you make sure you keep in mind your skin type everybody is different and different products work differently on different people so yes i really really hope you have enjoyed my review on the inky list i will be doing more skincare reviews in the future if you haven't seen i do have another kind of inky list skincare review it's selfless by Hiram which is obviously partnered with the inky list I've done a full review on the whole range of selfless by Hiram products so if you want to go and check that out I will leave a link for that down below as always thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you give this video a thumbs up I would really love it if you hit that subscribe button I'd love for you to join my tiny tiny corner of the internet over here and um yeah <laughs> have an amazing rest of your day keep smiling keep shining goodbye <laughs>